Welcome to Tuesdays at 8, our Facebook event that we have on Tuesday evenings. I'm Diane Mara, a visual faith coach, the webmaster, and social media brand manager for Visual Faith Ministries. Tonight, my guest is Dion Lovestat Jones. She is one of our guest speakers for the Pathway in the Movable Adventure called Households Pathway. And we're going to be talking this evening about what is a spiritually vibrant household. Welcome, Dion. Thank you for being here with us on this last night before I the know. big, the big countdown. Thank you. It is so fun to be here. I, yeah, I've been looking forward to this for a while. And it's really fun. And Dion was so sweet to do this the night before because tomorrow, 9 a.m., I know you can begin your movable adventure. It's just crazy. Okay. Yeah, I know. We've worked so much. You have no idea, people, how many months we've worked on this, how many people have been involved, and it's so spectacular. And, of course, we're both very, very excited. Well, let me introduce Dion to you. I'd like to um, share a little bit about her background. Dion is a regional ministry facilitator for Lutheran Hour Ministries. She equips everyday kinds of people to have everyday kinds of spiritual conversations in everyday kinds of settings. She has delivered Lutheran Hour Ministries workshop content to more than 1,500 people in congregations and organizations across the country. As a certified professional fundraiser with a background in nonprofit development and the hospitality industry, Dion recognizes the joy in welcoming others and the giving of ourselves. She is grateful for the home studio space that she uses for work and visual faith practices. See how pretty it is? I always call her my red girl because we see the red wall, which was freed up by her grown sons flying the coop and blames a British husband on her high affinity for Walker's crisps and digestive biscuits. And they're mostly covered in dark chocolate. Isn't she a fun person? You can just tell by the background colors that she has there too. Well, as before we let Dion kind of talk, I want to share with you and show you her pathway intro because I think it'll help set the tone of what sure. Dion's going to share a little bit about tonight. So, one second while I get to the right spot and push the button. So, here we go. This is Dion's um, introduction to the household pathway of the movable adventure. Welcome to the household's pathway on this movable adventure. Life in a household can be interesting, dynamic, and at times even bumpy as we go through different seasons of life. But we're here to say that on this pathway, during this adventure, the Holy Spirit can and will meet you wherever you are. Transformation can happen in big and glorious ways or just in little drips at a time, and it's all okay. Take your time with these videos about households. Practice what you see, pause along this adventure, and collect all of the little pebbles and nuggets that you think might work really well in your household. Don't think about having to integrate everything that you see on this pathway, um, on this part of the journey, but just find one thing, one thing that you think might be a great first step for your household. Something that you can do that will move your household toward a new place of spiritual vibrancy. Maybe it's applying a new spiritual discipline, a new practice that you see through visual faith ministry and this adventure. It might be extending hospitality in a new way, whether it's in your home or even across the back fence with a neighbor. And we hope that this adventure, this pathway, might also assist you with finding new opportunities to engage in spiritual conversations, to share Jesus and the hope that you have that lies within. I pray that your time on this adventure is full of spiritual worship, holy and acceptable to God, and that you will be transformed and renewed.
That was such a great introduction. So now don't you all want to join us and find out more about this? Yes, they do. So I'm going to ask you a, a leading question, Dion. Hmm, okay. So tell us why you think the household pathway is a part of everyone's spiritual life. Oh, there's a couple of reasons. And the first is everyone lives in a household. Um, so no matter if we're single, married, a nuclear family, an extended family, roommate family, um, empty nesters, it doesn't matter. We're all in a household and we all have the opportunity to impact one another in the household. So I think um, the beautiful part of this is that visual faith and the visual faith community is all about equipping us right where we are. Um, and in this pathway, especially, it's about how do we leave legacy and talk to our children? What do we do as grandparents um, when we talk to our grandkids? How do we parent on the go and all we can do is gather up the backpacks and get into the van in the morning? And I think um, all of these little nuggets along the way, um, what's cool about them is you can just grab one little idea and it will impact the spiritual vibrancy of your home. And I think that's what's so cool. And we don't think about our households of, as places where we can be transformed and we can help others be transformed in Jesus. And I just, I think that's what's it's like this beautiful little incubator <laughs> for lack of a better expression. So that's why households are important. And I, I get really excited about it because it's just all about right where we are. And, and as I read in Dion's introduction, she has presented workshop content to over 1,500 people across the United States. So think of that. If, you, if you've been lucky enough to be somewhere where you've got the chance to hear Dion, you're really blessed. But guess what? Dion is going to share that information in this movable adventure. So tell us a little bit about where this information come from? Is it based on scientific information? Give us some history. For sure. Uh, so Lutheran Hour Ministries has been lovely partner with Visual Faith Ministry, but we've also partnered with a company called Barna Research. And so they're doing really relevant research for Christians and Christianity today. And one of the things that we've done with them is um, based on households. And we have a little a book that's called The Spiritually Vibrant Home. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to bring this statistical research-based material into the visual faith community. And so you're getting that as part of this movable adventure, which I think is really cool. So um, a lot of what I do during workshop is taking people through what you're going to see in the adventure. And then what's better is you get the bonus stuff. So a lot of times in a workshop, people are, people say, now what do I do? Or where do I go from here? Mm -hmm. The coolest part about this is that you'll get those answers and you'll have that next equipping piece after you get the information and understand its relevancy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just so, it's so exciting. It One is. of the things Dion and I were talking about before we went live this evening is um, I've, because I'm the webmaster and I put all the videos together and we've talked about there's 45 videos. Um, <laughs> so I've seen all the videos, people. I've already been through them. The most important thing I want you to understand about the movable adventure is you are going to be exposed to so many ideas most of the ideas i remember watching people's videos and helping them or do interviews with them and thinking i think i kind of knew that oh but wait i didn't really think of it in that way right and that's really what this is all about it's giving you the chance to hear some information and go wow i did i didn't know that oh that's that describes me or i could do those kinds of things and that's the beauty of the stories because the movable adventure is all these people's stories of their own spiritual pathway and transformation correct Dion? yeah, yeah and absolutely and i think we also kind of get this new uh set of language and terms when we when we go through the movable adventure so um diane and i were talking Talking earlier that we sometimes we don't think of our our households as places of spiritual vibrancy and and they can be and what are the things that we can do and so when we talk about extending hospitality well that's what visual faith people do all of the time when they're setting up 
um, you know, tables, picnic tables in the front yard and creative haven spaces and celebrations with family. And so all of these kinds of things help us with this language and really equip us in new ways. Um, so we understand things better. And Oh, the ideas are going to be abundant. And because can I plug the journal? <laughs> because I had the opportunity to proof the journal during the proofing process, which was amazing um, because we had, as, as Diane was saying, 40 different videos coming in. We also had 40 different packets of writing coming in to support journal material for this. And Oh my gosh, when you think about all the nuggets, all of the ideas that come out of here, I think it could be really overwhelming, but it's amazing because at the end of the day, you have this gift. <laughs> and now when you get it, so I told Diane, I feel like I got a present, but I can't quite open it yet. So it's teased me with some of the material coming up, which of course now I have to watch the videos to really get the full impact of. But this gift is gonna be opened wide during the adventure. And we'll be able to, to camp on just one of these ideas if we need to. There's so many things that you can um, kind of morph and remorph for how you live life mm -hmm. and take and grab just for you <laughs> so that you can make it workable for transformation. And I, that's what I love about it. And that's so true. Let's let's just show them the the graph of how we put this all together a couple of months ago, so that people understand. So the movable adventure is not a retreat, it's not a conference, it's not a beginning. And you say for three days I'm going to watch all the videos because that's impossible. This is a year long adventure. We had to call it an adventure because we didn't know what else to say. Come along with us. So there's four pathways. There's the personal pathway. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're talking about the household pathway. There's the community pathway and the digital pathway. So if you've watched this Tuesdays at eight, you would have already heard Carolyn, who Carolyn Bira, who was our um, main keynote speaker for the personal pathway, uh, Justin for the community pathway, and Chad for the digital pathway. And then see underneath them all of the different topics and ideas that we have. So let's just focus on the households for a few seconds. And um, Dion just kind of talked about a few of them, but let's just give them a few more ideas. What would that look like? Or how would you figure out which ones you want to watch? Do you have some advice for people? I think uh, some of those key terms in there, when you think about families on the go, <laughs> seriously, when I think about uh, the other folks that I see in Facebook and the visual faith community, I think about their lives and what that looks like literally to gather, uh, to herd the, herd the cats or the children in the morning and get the backpacks and get out the door. What does that look like? What kind of practices can we have when we want to pray together, when we want to have meaningful prayer and teach our children how to pray. What does that look like? And those are spiritual disciplines that we're trying to establish in the home and lead through as parents. And so when you talk about families on the go, like it is, we have the ability to do that. We can teach and practice prayer even in the van on the way to school. And so I think that's, that's the kind of thing I'm looking at. So when you look through those titles, kind of, those are the things that'll resonate with you. Um, when you have, uh, you know, faith milestones, what does that mean? You know, for me, I think of things like baptisms and confirmations. Um, they might even be ways to celebrate big um, Christian holidays like Easter and Christmas. What does that look like? Um, you know, how do we mark those things as a family and then take time to remember them later? What does what does that look like? How can we experience that together and truly develop a practice around that, a spiritual discipline? But then I always think, what's the next step? So the next time we celebrate that milestone, how do we open our doors and invite others into that space by extending hospitality and sharing those things? Mm -hmm. Because we're practiced and, and we know what they're about now. We know how to share our faith through the sharing of those those projects. So I, can you tell I'm excited about it? Yes, <laughs> we both are. <laughs> everything that we do in the visual faith communities is just so beautifully intertwined and um, 
there's so many Jesus moments in this information and in the journal and what you're going to see, um, how you're going to experience the, the movable adventure. Um, I just, I cannot wait to see what God has in store for you. And I love what you talked about. So my advice to people is, um, start with something that resonates with you as, as, um, Dion just said. So if you're a young parent or a parent of young children, cause that could be two different things. Um, maybe that's what you want to watch. And the three videos that are included in that are from five different women who share, and they all have totally different experiences and they have great encouragement in that respect. Now mm -hmm. it's just turned November and what's coming up is Thanksgiving. So if you go over to the personal pathway and you'll see devotional journaling and in there, there's going to be some ideas of how can you turn around that? It's just, we all get together and pig out on a bunch of food and watch football games on Thanksgiving <laughs> to making it something spiritually transforming. And so there's ideas in there of how to spend time, um, counting your gratitudes and the, things like that. And then we go into Advent and there's, women talking about what they did for Advent. And then we start the beginning of the year with the women who make their whole book for the entire year to mark all their um, prayers, their prayer, who they're praying for, and then they're um, counting joy throughout the year is what we call that book. So you could just start right there because that fits in right with this time of year. And if you just do that one video and focus and try and, you know, get some of the things and try this, try the projects and stuff like that, your life is totally going to change over the next 60 days. It really will, because most of these are brand new things you probably never thought of. We have free resources that match those things. So yes, can you tell we're very, very <laughs> It's so okay. true. <laughs> so we plugged the journal and I just noticed uh, that I think um, Emily told you where to get the journal. So quickly, we're going to tell you about the journal. This is the first book we have ever published. We did this based on feedback from the Abide Retreat, where we had, what, 80 pages or 90 pages of things for people to print. And everybody was saying how much it costs to print, you know, if you have a color printer, and it would have been so nice if it was all together. So we decided to do this. We were going to invest the time and energy mm -hmm. and expertise in creating a real publishable book on Amazon. So this is a companion We'll both hold our journal. Don't <laughs> both do the banana. <laughs> right. This is a companion to the um, movable adventure. So right. what does that mean? Quickly, we'll show you inside. Okay, see, there's just a few words, but there's a lot of blank spaces. And why is that? Because just as you watch the video, the questions and things go along with what you're watching. You're going to take your notes and you're going to do all that. Kind of, you know, you're going to put all that in this journal. So at the end of a year, you will have filled this out and, here is a great legacy to leave. What did I do in 21, 22? Hmm. Right. Look right in here and know my whole spiritual journey that I just went on. So you can definitely order those books. They're going to be on Amazon. There's not any time frame or anything like that. As we There's do some awesome templates in there. Great yes. things that you'll be able to use and reuse through the years, really. Um, yeah. And so I hate to tell you, I'm, I'm going to be the one that takes their book to my local printer and I'm going to have them cut the spine off so I can put a spiral on yeah. it so yeah. I can lay it flat. So yeah. you know what? We but, tried to do that. Amazon <laughs> doesn't do that. You can't do print on demand and have spiral. I know. A lot but of them have yeah, but it's, it's that fantastic. Yeah. You're going to want to yeah. make sure you can Absolutely. use it well. <laughs> yeah. You're going to definitely do that. So that is available. You will enjoy it when you get it. It will definitely inspire you. So there's no timetable on that, but I'm going to have to remind you. Let's see. What time is it? It is 30 on Tuesday night. I feel like we should have a countdown clock. No, I a little calendar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically um, at 9 a.m. tomorrow, there's no more $49 ticket. Right. So I want to let everybody know, I'm going to be real honest with you. You will never be able to get the movable adventure for $49 again. This was one time to launch this. We uh, will be offering it, but the price is $79. So save yourself $30. Trust me. Trust Di Dion. You're going to love this. You're never going to say, I threw my money away. You're right. never going to say that. 
So and I would absolutely be able to argue that the $79 is still going to be completely worth it. Absolutely. Um, however, being the frugal bargain hunter that I am, do the 49. <laughs> right. Go, go for it tonight. So go ahead and watch. And then the other thing we did, what if you've already purchased it? What if you already got your journal book and you're so excited for tomorrow and you think, oh, my friend Sally, she would really right. enjoy this. You can gift this to a friend. Or we've got Christmas coming up. Why don't you give the most awesome gift you could ever give anybody? You can gift this to somebody. So you go to the website and it's right on there. I'm sure Emily will put it in our little notes here. But you click on there and it'll tell you exactly how to purchase a ticket for someone else. So what a great gift to give your friends, your children, your daughter-in-law, your sister, your mother. Get, get your whole family involved in this because they'll just so benefit, won't they, Dion? Yeah, I I love it. I love the thought of being able to do this in community, whatever that community looks like. For some of us, we can get together with a few of our friends, um, you know, at a big work table. For some of us, we can use our uh, colorful faith classroom in our church basements. Um, but, you know, I think about my sister and my niece. And I think, you know, they're way up in Wisconsin, but we there's no reason we couldn't do this together. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I think it, it can have out. really fun possibilities for sharing and um, mm -hmm. sharing photos with one another and conversation and, and to just to be in that conversation with, well, how did you experience that? What did you do? Did you find that to be as interesting as I did? Could be, could really open up some cool, truly transformative spaces. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you're like a lot of people over the last year because of COVID, so many people couldn't see their children or grandchildren. Right. So they started doing Zoom calls, right? Yeah. Well, you can still do a Zoom. So if you purchase this for yourself for $49 and you think you want to share it with your family, we've done the easiest, simplest thing of all. We have a permission agreement that you can purchase for $19 and you can share every single thing that we have all the videos. You can show them 20 times. Yeah. You can go to your church. And if you gathered a hundred women and show the video there, you don't have to pay anything else. It's just $19. You have to buy the $49 ticket or the right. 79, but 49 right now. And then you just pay the $19 and no, there's nobody on the internet. There is no Christian group. Nobody's offering that. We want this to be shared in community as Dion said. Yeah, I already am thinking about how I might do that, share the upcoming Carol and Bureau Bible studies that were born out of the personal pathways. But what does that look like now for my, we, we have a group at church called WOW, it's Women of the Word. Mm -hmm. So how could WOW do these studies as one of our next series for 2022? I just, oh, I think it could be really fun. Well, and that's a leader or you're mm -hmm. some kind of a leader in your church or in just in your women's groups or whatever, yep. where could you go get, you don't have to write any curriculum. Oh my you, gosh. We are not kidding. Yeah. yeah. The two Bible studies are already in the journal. January 15th, D, um, Carolyn is writing more Bible studies that will be included. So if you bought the ticket, you'll get access to those in January. And I think it's going to be seven to nine more Bible studies that will take you through an entire year. So if you just think of that, you don't have to create anything. You can print the pages of the Bible study, just those pages, because there's a PDF file on the website under resources. You could just download it and then print the pages you want give them to your group, hand them out to your group. So you don't have to go recreate the wheel. We've, we've done it for you. And, and talk about an amazing instructor. I mean, yes. across the board, you have 40 amazing, well, more than that, because we have some videos that are hosted by three, four and five people, right. but these amazing instructors for videos that even if you didn't share it, it's a great way for you to learn it and to watch it again. I'm, I'm a repetition uh, rote person. So I definitely need to write. And I, I just love it. We have these beautiful examples for teaching and sharing so that we can, you know, use them, let them speak and then amend and complement what they have. Um, we can always, you know, help with supplies. People are used to buying their own Bible study guides. So it's very much the same with the journal. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can totally do that. The other thing we want to make sure everybody. Praise Dion. 
She has been a phenomenal member of Visual Faith Ministry. For the Abide Retreat, she offered to create a prayer team and pray for people. And she offered it again for Movable. So she has a team of people, and I'm going to let her explain what they've been doing. And just to let you know that prayer is available. I want to just shower blessing on the whole event, but certainly call out these beautiful prayer partners of mine, uh, Carolyn and Jenny and Karen and Denise and Vicki. Um, we have been meeting for months. We meet every Monday morning and really uh, each of us has been responsible for either part of the behind the scenes team or one of the pathways. So we've been praying for all of our folks by name and we've been praying for technology <laughs> and we've been praying for our participants. Most importantly, those people that are signing up and attending that we, we are just, our, our true holy desire is that the Holy Spirit will work through this event and through every participant. So we've just, yeah, been lifting people up for months, but want to let people know that we're still here. Even when Movable starts tomorrow, that you can email a prayer request. Emily's put it in the chat there for you. Mm -hmm. email your prayer request. It can be um, a petition. It can be a request of God, but it can certainly be a praise too. We we love praising our, our Lord. So we would love to take those prayers and um, it would be our honor, honor to pray for you during that time as well. Yeah. And thanks Emily for putting um, that yeah. up. So it's uh, prayer at visualfaithmen.org. So yeah. you can absolutely email that. And Dion has that email box. She manages it for us. Yep. Every prayer is held in confidence. It's not put out anywhere on social media or anything like that. They're just, they, we really uh, covet those prayers. We, mm -hmm. um, we hold those people dear and those prayer requests. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's put up a couple comments because we've gotten some good ones. So hold on one second because I want to go back. So Debbie says, I can't wait to start the journey. Yay, Debbie. We're so glad. And just to let you all know, right before I went live, I went and checked um, our signups. And as of this moment, well, hopefully people have already gone to sign up since we're talking. We have 150 people who will be joining us on the movable adventure. I just got shivers. I know. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's just it's amazing. Because you just think about all that, all just oh, everything that can happen and how transformation is going to occur in adventuring together. Mm -hmm. Do you want to read what? Um, <laughs> I love it. I love all the yellow brick roads that will lead us to transformation. It's so true, right? right? It makes me kind of want to go do the Dorothy skip. Mm -hmm. um, Very <laughs> much so. And they will, they will uh, you know, and, and I think that's the thing. We have faith and we trust that this material will transform it, it, mm -hmm. these practices, your practice of, of going through this. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead and read this from Jenny? Hey, Jenny, thanks. The Spiritually Vibrant Home is a very readable um, book. In this case, the statistics are presented in a way that you understand the information and it lends itself to great small group discussion. I totally agree. It's... Um, yeah, we, we call it rather than applying spiritual disciplines, extending hospitality and engaging in spiritual conversations, um, we call it messy prayers, loud tables and open doors. And so it's just a great relatable way to to walk through the book. Yeah, thanks. And then Connie gave us a lot. I know, I love that. <laughs> so the yellow brick road have Holy Spirit crowd. Yes, absolutely. And then um, Emily posted where you can get the journal. And Eden, Eden, who's one of our presenters, said, I spent time browsing through the book yesterday. Because don't forget, these people were all doing their own thing. They haven't seen it all put together. Right. Browsing through the book yesterday while on a car trip. Oh, my, so much good stuff. And she's part of it. So we'd love to hear that. And um, It's Eden, like the biggest tease ever. Exactly. <laughs> and then Eden said, wouldn't that be great for in-home groups? Absolutely. That's what we're, you know, we're trying to convince you that. Can you just imagine people with their elbows on the kitchen table with their, you know, pens and pencils ready and just kind of this messy spread. I, I yeah, I think yeah, it's going to be fun. So why don't you share what Christy told us? The journal is amazing. I can't wait to fill it up with all of the ideas little by little. Um, we'll have to pace myself for sure, which 
Oh, I think you are so wise in saying that because I think um, sometimes this can be like drinking out of a fire hose. <laughs> so sometimes when we say it's okay to get the little drip at a time and just take something and ponder on it, um, sometimes it, the Holy Spirit leads us to pause and and just be in that place. So I think that's very, very great wisdom to share. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And the reason, we, yeah, good thing we have a whole year, Emily tells us, and and you're going to find this is a very unique experience. We've all gone to retreats. We've all done something mm -hmm. online. Even at our abide retreat, it was a one day thing and you had to watch all the videos and get all that stuff. We, this We're so different. This is all about grace, giving yourself grace, taking your time, taking those um, little nuggets, you know, and Let's see. I'm trying to read some of these. Okay. What's, what's Bev said? I mean, this is Christy again. Do you want to read that? Um, yeah. Looking back to see what I've learned and recorded about different biblical principles is so valuable. Um, that was a comment to Bev, but yeah, taking back. And I think that's part of the journal process too, mm -hmm. is that we're able to look back and study and study again. You know, if I can even plug, we think about something like in, in here, we're talking about the Lectio Divina or how to mm -hmm. study over scripture. And we've um, been working on that as a prayer team. We do that. And so it's just amazing that even if it's a passage that you've looked at, going back to do it again later, God will speak to you in a completely different way in that passage. So it can be really powerful. I agree. Yeah. And Emily just said exactly what we've been saying again. We got to remember, we're going to keep talking about this adventure for weeks and months to come because yeah. everything will still be available, higher cost, but the journal price won't change. So thanks for reminding me about that. We're not changing the price on, on the journal. Um, oh, somebody agreed with your spiral bound. Let's see. <laughs> And Emily reminds us, most licensed sharing is well over $100. And we said 19 for 45 videos. Okay, yeah. think through that. What is that? 50, not even 50 cents, you know, to be able to share that and to share all the, the um, written things too. So as Emily reminds us, let your church staff, whatever church you belong to, let them know this. Go to your woman's ministry um, leader and say, hey, we should get this for the church. You just have to buy in one person's name and then you buy the license. And then that person has the ability to, to show all of you. Yeah. And I love that because even if you're in a small church that doesn't have staff, this is why it's ideal. You have volunteers um, in different spaces and Honestly, let's make sure that we're not thinking about this only for women. I think there are so many practices in here that would be great for family groups, for youth groups, um, for multi-generational groups. And yes, even the men's Saturday morning coffee clutch Bible study. So, you know, when we talk about this, there's just so many great practices that are embedded in the in these pathways that I think would be really nice. Mm -hmm. And Michelle just said, I'm so excited. I just ordered it. Thank you for putting this all together. <laughs> well, you're yeah, quite welcome. It's been, too. it's been our pleasure to put this all together. Yeah. So did we cover everything we wanted to? I think we, I think we basically did. I think so. Everything. And you got to experience our excitement tonight. <laughs> 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 so um, I was thinking one of the things I wanted to just close us out with is if you haven't had a chance to see the the promotional video that I put together I want to play it right now and then Dion and I are going to come back and just kind of pull everything together for you but just take a second with us it's, it's less than a minute and let's just watch this because this should really give you some ideas of where asking yourself questions where are you at spiritually Have you ever wondered if your spiritual life can be more? More peace, more joy, more room for God in your life? Have you ever wondered why life is so difficult sometimes? Struggles emerge, pain assaults, fears take over, and God feels distant. Have you ever wanted to be changed? to be present with God more consistently, to enjoy a vibrant prayer and worship life, to serve God with all that he has created in you, to know you are following Jesus rather than going your own way. 
the movable adventure is made to address these spiritual life issues. God has already established pathways and practices that can help. Join the adventure as together we walk with the Lord and allow His Spirit to transform us. I think one of the points that um, we were trying to make with that is, I'm sure for everybody, they, they take a deep breath and they keep saying the same thing. Is this ever going to be over? Mm-hmm. Is it ever going to return to normal? We've all experienced very deep lows over the past year. And those lows in our life, because of the things we had to deal with with COVID, could have put some people, a lot of people, into a kind of a spiritually bankrupt place because you're kind of thinking, okay, wait, why? You know, and especially if you got affected personally, personal, or with your family with somebody from COVID and maybe they didn't make it. You could be in a very bankrupt place right now. And we can't answer the question, is it ever going to return to normal? I personally don't believe it ever will. It's going to be changed forever. But our whole goal in putting this together was actually to offer that hope, that inspiration, that community of we all feel that way. And we don't want to walk away from God. We want to draw closer to him. Maybe we just don't know how right now. And so to say that we have 150 people who have joined the journey as of right now is phenomenal. So think of that. You're not by yourself. You have lots of people who want to do this with you. For sure. Yeah, I was watching the video and I'm sorry about my coughing if that was. um, I was watching the video and, you know, those are all so many of the answers are yes answers. Right. So I, I can you see this? I just kept writing. Yes, 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 yes. And I think, you know, at the end of the day for me, this is this is about a way that we can say yes. We can say yes to God's call. We can say yes to the Holy Spirit. Um, yes, to kind of moving, even if it's from right here to right Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And I, I, that's what I love about this. There's just simple ways that we can say yes. And, and I love that because we may be feeling all of that, uh, all of the stuff, right? The isolation and loneliness and, um, this place where we just don't know that we'll ever be again. And yet there is a place to be, we can say yes. And I, I, I just love that. And I think the adventure allows us to do that. Very much. So we hope that you've enjoyed our enthusiasm. You've enjoyed the information. <laughs> you've gotten excited and you've gone and clicked and signed up. Yeah. If you haven't signed up and you're watching the video, please sign up with us. So I'm just going to remind you up until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, it's $49. Yep. Tomorrow morning after nine, if you're on the free plan, here's what I'm going to predict is going to happen. You are going to start, you're going to watch because you only have two days. You're going to watch some of those videos and go, what? Okay. Oh, I have to have this. Now you're going to pay $59. So it's good that you signed up for the free because you, maybe you don't trust us. You don't know us. That's okay. We accept that. But I think once you get there, you're going to do it. So you only then have two days to make it $59. Yeah. Okay. And then Friday after 9 a.m., it's $79. So we are going, the other thing I want to remind everybody is what you purchase right now and you get access to tomorrow will be pages for each pathway and there'll be the resources and everything is going to be there for you. Unlike anything else on the internet, you go to a retreat, they don't keep adding after the retreat's over. We are going to continually go to like, ver- this is version one, right? Movable version one. Then we're going to have movable version two in January. So if you've already purchased a ticket, you're going to get whatever we add for free. You don't have to pay any more money. So again, where could you invest $49 that money actually grows and gives you more things? So we've got a lot of things in the works that we've got people behind the scenes are starting to create and putting together. And so that will all be launching in January. So just great ways to keep people on the adventure. Diane, there's a question on Facebook that I, or from Facebook that I think you should answer. Oh, yes. Okay. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Emily answered her. Okay. So if you have, 
how do you verify that you've signed up? My understanding is from our website is if you purchase something, you get an email back to your email address that says you just purchased something. That's the first thing. Um, you won't know until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. I mean, I really can't, we don't have time to go through every single person and say yes. Um, but you will know tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You should be able to just log right in. So you have to become a member on the website right. because it's for members only that will be able to get that. And membership is free. There's no cost for that. So you will be able to find out. Um, thank you, Emily, for also sharing the time. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Mountain, and 6 a.m. Pacific Time. So um, that's, I think we've answered all the questions. Awesome. So you should have gotten an email that you've signed up. I know that Linda sent emails out today to people who have already signed up. Mm -hmm. She'll be sending out another one tomorrow. So again, remember, it's for a whole year. It's okay. You, we're going to, we'll get you. And if you can't get in, have a problem. Emily put a post up about how to do deal with technical things. If you go to the website down in the bottom right hand corner, it says chat and you can go right in there and say, I'm having a problem, blah, blah, blah. And we will respond as soon as we can. Okay. So I think we've answered all the questions and Dion, thank you. It was so lovely to spend this time with you, you guys be here and to be I excited you with you <laughs> and to share, to share our excitement about this. I know. Adventure. So um, the last thing I want to tell you is, here's a little teaser. Dion doesn't even know this. So in two weeks, hold on, I'm pretty, yeah, it's two weeks, the 16th, right? Tuesday the 16th. So it's two weeks from today. We'll be at Tuesdays at 8 and Marsha Baker and the sketch noting team Happens. are going to be my guests. And I am so excited about that because if you already have your journal, you've gotten to see what sketch noting is because in the journal, Marsha sketch noted, which is basically taking notes. Okay. In a pretty fun way. Right. Um, in the journal. Thank you. So that's an example of it. And then you're going to be amazed. Uh, she created a team of people just like Dion had for the prayer team who did sketch notes for every single video. And those are in color and they will be a PDF that you can download. So they're going to be my guests. And we're talking to Marsha about um, maybe offering a 101 class of how do you start sketch noting and stuff like that. So again, in two weeks, join me again. We'll have it posted in the Facebook group. So the place to be starting after 9 a.m. tomorrow is our Facebook group. That's where you're going to say, oh my gosh, I just watched this video and, you know, it was phenomenal. And now I'm, I can't, I'm so excited. That's where we, that's where the community happens in our Facebook group. Yeah. So thank you very much, Dion. Thank you. And as I said, join us in two weeks for conversation, encouragement, and inspiration. And we'll be doing sketch note team, sketch noting with the sketch note team with Marsha Baker in two weeks. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening.